All right, so I'm gonna, this is a background I made. It's got two sided. I'm gonna lay the white part down. <coughs> Hey, I see Casey. Hold on, guys. I was ready until I decided to put back forward down here. Wahoo! Hello! Oh. Yeah, well, looks kind of ghetto. Hold on. Let's try this the other way. Ghetto fabulous in the house. And no, I don't want to be on camera. I don't. But the beautiful jewelry is going to be on camera. I got some fun stuff to show you guys today. And I kind of feel confident about this bag. I think there's a lot of, like, gemstones and stuff. Like, I don't know. It's always a huge surprise every time I get these bags. Welcome, Gina. Gina, Jaina. I'm so happy to see you guys. Yeah, so here's the deal, Casey. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> so I called Goodwill 30 minutes before they're supposed to open today. Today is Sunday and yesterday it snowed. And so my Goodwill did not open at all, all day long on Saturday. And don't you know, they were supposed to open at nine o'clock. Hold on. Let me pause the dryer. You guys. <clears throat> Over the dryer. I mean, I already talk loud enough, but for me to talk over the dryer is going to kill me through a whole hour of this. Um, it's been snowing since midnight. It's crazy. Nothing is open and <laughs> no goodwill. Wow. So yeah, make it quick. Um, the Goodwill didn't open all day Saturday, so I'm thinking, okay, so maybe they'll just open at 12 p.m. like most schools do. You know how, of course, they make your kids go to school half a day or something sometimes. Um, but, yeah, they never opened. And so I called. It's supposed to open Sunday at 1 p.m., so I called 30 minutes in advance. And I called and, and was like, are y'all open today? She said yes. And then I, luckily I asked her, I remembered they had the sign on the door that said they don't take, uh, or they're only taking cash, because that was on the door Saturday when I drove up there, dumbly. So, they were open, and when I got there, the doors were already open early, like they opened early. I have no idea how the bag was still sitting on the counter, but nobody got it. So, whew. It was there, and none of the ladies were there that I typically see um, the washing machine still going. So, <laughs> hey, Thrifty Santa. Um, so, yeah, I got that, and like I was saying, none of the other ladies, my competition was there. So, they told me on the phone that they also were stocking the jewelry counter, so, this is what I bought also, and then I did pay a dollar for this um, mouse pad because it's like plastic and I don't like fabric ones because fabric ones, you have to like, you can't really wipe them down with a washcloth. I don't know. We have problems with our um, Mac mouse mouses they don't really work on certain stuff so i don't know this is i really wanted to buy one of these so i got a new one Woohoo! except it needs to be flattened it's super cheap i probably wasted my money on that I probably should have bought an expensive one okay so i'm really excited to show you guys this piece because it's actually more special um 15 inches of snow so far and more snow. Wow, coming down. Yeah, the sun is out. Our snow is still all here, but it's melting. Um, so it's cool that it's still here. No school here tomorrow or, or work, working on posh. Cool. Okay, so let me quickly show you. 
I asked her if she'd mark this because I wasn't sure. They kind of look sterling silver on the backings. Oh, you did. Exciting. Christmas is coming. Thanks, Barry. Um, I have a gift for you on the way, too, very soon. So I saw these earrings, and you know what? Now that I'm looking at them, they look more, they don't look sterling, actually. I don't know. It's a good metal. I thought it might have been sterling, but I thought these were cute. They're like a rose gold. I would totally, I bought these for myself. I'll wash them. And now that I'm seeing it, it might be tarnished or scratched up right there. So I don't know. They'll be pretty to wear for a couple hours and take them off. So the next piece I got, if you guys don't already know my channel, I'm obsessed with gemstones. This is a heavy gemstone that I found at Goodwill. And you guys, those earrings were 50 cents. Oh, you know what? No, I don't have my magnet. You're right. Let me grab it. I'm the worst at a magnet. I like forget to use the magnet going on grumpy. I'll forget it's here. Yes, I have my loop. <laughs> and I do have my uh, diamond tester. And then I have my two cleaning cloths just in case. Got my exacto knife that I, I have to have like through every video. I don't know why I have to have this. It's so retarded. So here's my little magnet. I need a professional magnet, but I don't have one yet. So I don't know, I guess this is a wrap necklace. And I've seen some of these at like, I don't know, women who sell jewelry. Some of these can be like really expensive. However, there's no name brand on this, but I wouldn't be surprised if someone paid over $25 for this piece. Unfortunately, I'm still learning on gemstones. I accidentally ordered a gemstone book three, Judy Hall. I need jewelry book or jewelry, gemstone book one and two. Um, I didn't do my research, so I don't even know what gemstone this is. It's so pretty and it's heavy, it's cold, it's authentic. So hopefully it's a natural gemstone. So moving along um, on those earrings, let's see. Yeah, they're not sticking, but that, you know, that doesn't always necessarily mean that it's silver. Um, I have a pretty good eye for silver, so stay tuned. I do have 2020 vision as well. All right, I got my empty bag here for my craft junk jewelry that I'll resell that I don't want. We'll put it all in here. And let's open our dragonfly. So normally I don't go to the jewelry counter because there's a lot of women there already. Like this is where they go. They want the, these pieces. And normally I don't, you know, I like stuff for a quarter. So I paid up and that's not even up. That's only $2. So this thing is exciting and I want to tell you why. It's got a really cool feature on it. There's one reason why I wanted this. Uh, well, actually two. One is this thing is heavy. The box, it's like so heavy. And then two, not only, I mean, it's kind of three things. Two, it's very shiny. And three, three is my favorite part. I'll show you. Wouldn't it be crap if I cut myself one day on YouTube with this X-Acto knife? Oh my gosh, I can't wait to open this. This is for resale, I'm not gonna keep it. I don't have a thing for dragonflies, but I know other people do. The third reason why I got this, oh my gosh. It opens up, oh my God. Like you can put like your pills or something in there. I don't even know, I don't take pills. Wait, why won't it close? The magnet came out, look. So this magnet needs to be glued back in there. We'll just put it inside the jewelry box for now because um, it looks like that came off. This thing is heavy. Um, let's see, I don't see any rhinestones missing. It's enamel glazed. And I guess it's got this 
pearl here trinket box yeah it's so cool i don't know i just feel like whoever is obsessed with um dragonflies because oddly enough i'm obsessed with iguanas uh, mostly just iguanas not really lizards but iguanas i like i'm obsessed with so all right we're done with this i was making my screen a little bit bigger thanks tracy I thought it was beautiful too, and for two dollars. So I don't see an engraving. So I don't know if it's just a cheap little box. I thought it was cool. So two dollars was worth the worth the with risk. Can't talk. So that's what I got, and I got a pair of um, Vans tennis shoes for my son. I FaceTimed Tucker. And he said he liked them, so we got some cute little Vans tennis shoes. <clears throat> Are y'all ready? I'm so excited. Like, oh, thanks, Barry. Barry. Hey, Eric, what's going on? Oh, Lordy. What a lazy day. They even canceled church today. My town cannot handle snow. They canceled church at a lot of places. Not all of them. Open it. <laughs> yeah. So my bags are, my bags, my, the jewelry bags are $25. Um, on the necklace, I think it says I spent either a dollar the earrings were 50 cents, uh, $2 for the trinket box. Seems like there was something else. I don't know. But I did round up my total. So my total here was $32. There. You can't handle snow either. Yeah. Yeah. Most people can't. All right. Let's get into it. Let's see here. Okay. Let me move these pieces that I bought separate from all this because we know we're keeping those. Holy moly, Heather. Oh, ow. Okay. Got my junk bag here again. All right. So this is like really inexpensive, probably like a dollar store quality. A huge, massive statement piece, but it's missing beads. Since it's so inexpensive, this is going to be something that I pass along. So you'll hear me say craft bag or junk jewelry. Um, it's something that I'm going to resell to somebody else who can use it. I can't, so... Let's see. This is cool. It's a very inexpensive earring, but oh my gosh. I think I need a light. I think this is amethyst, possibly, but it's a, like a vintage weird earring. It seems really, really inexpensive made. Um, I actually have a box light right here. Let me turn it on. <clears throat> can see the lighting is already terrible quality. Here we go. Voila! Oh, the things you got to do just to set up. Show us your Judy Hall book. Uh, I think it's right here. Let me see. <clears throat> this is Judy Hall. I talk about her in my other videos, but you know, my videos are like an hour long. This is Judy Hall. She's like an infamous, infamous, what, however you say that word. I bought this on eBay. Well, I actually bought book one and I was like, well, I don't really like book one. And I sent it back on eBay like a dummy. And I was like, well, I'll get this crystal book. Because I just thought that they put all the books into Crystal Bible 3. But apparently Crystal Bible 1 and Crystal Bible 2 has stones that are not in this book. It's retarded. Like, I just wanted a book with, like, all the stones. So they make you buy all the series, you know? <laughs> yeah. Okay, screw back. Yeah. Totally. 
I don't like these kind of screw back earrings, but they have the stud ones that screw back. Those are amazing. I think I have like one pair. Okay, moving along. Ew, there's hair all over this. Gross. Let's see. So we have a bangle bracelet here. Seems kind of nice. I have a bunch of these, so I collect those to list them together. So what is this? It's a charm bracelet with a bunch of hair all throughout it. Um, it's actually pretty nice, but let's see. I don't know. It's a lot of hair to pick out of. Like maybe on another day. Too bad it's kind of inexpensive or I'd be like, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. But it's kind of... Kind of cheaply made. All right, we got a pop secret star that's going to be our junk jewelry bag with the inexpensive chain. I saw this. What the heck is this? It's a, um, that's like leather. It's soft. Wait. Yeah, that's like a pleather leather. It's like a belt. Thingy. Um, it definitely seems inexpensive. I'm gonna pass this along to somebody else that can use it. I'm here for like the silver and the gold and the wood and the gemstones. So this is awesome. Look at it. So boho hippie. This is awesome, you guys. I will definitely be reselling this on eBay. Okay, so here's a craft junk jewelry piece for a belt. Belt buckle, yeah, yeah. Oh, you got hair. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen how many I get? No DNA. <laughs> That's funny. Ugh, I feel like I've gotten these before in my jewelry bags, like total Walmart or Target pieces. Um, I'll pass those along. There's something that just bends right up. We have some beads that some bead craft maker will love. Let's see. I don't know if this is called abalone shell or something. These plastic beads. What the heck is this? It's kind of heavy. We'll keep this aside. You never know what it goes to. And I don't know if it's magnetic or what. I thought it said porn star, but it says pop star. I can totally sell porn star, but I cannot sell pop star. It's like a little girl piece. <laughs> It'd be worth way more money if it said porn star, right guys and gals? At least I think so. Okay. Hmm. So, I mean, this seems like a piece just from like JCPenney's or something, but again, since I'm a sucker for gemstones, these are real, I guess like an abalone or some kind of shell, I think. <laughs> um, they're kind of heavy, so I don't know. I might could lock this up with a couple other pieces to make 20, 25 bucks off of. Firstly, figure out what, um, you know, what stone it is. Always worth more, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, this is pretty... So those of you who also know me pretty well on my channel, I'm a Leo. And so anything like, you know, Peridot, which is my birthstone. These are not Peridot, but they're pretty close to it. It's such an ugly color, but since I'm such a proud Leo, I love my birthstone. I don't know. It's a really cool piece, and it's glass, so we'll hold on to this, see if we can find the mate. This is cool too, right? I love that gothy edge stuff. 
All right, this is a vintage necklace. It's really nice. What is it? Um, it's also like a gemstone or something. I don't know. Kind of. I think it's a layer necklace. No? Oh, it's broke. It's from, I don't know, it says Faith on the tag. Hey, Thrifty Christy. So they're faceted beads, right? They're kind of, they're glass, so they're probably worth a little more. Um, I really got to up my game, you guys, because it's very important when you're selling jewelry to know what beads and what gemstones you're working with. Are you really a Leo Thrifty Santa? Because I... I'm not only obsessed with my birthstone, but I'm obsessed with other Leos. So some of my best friends, even my best sister, my best sister, my only sister is Leo. These are cool. Does, it, does this even go together? No, this is separate. This is a total different piece. What is this? Baby Lita incense? You can't hear me. I smell it. Okay, this is a separate piece, you guys. It's a long um, necklace. Necklace! You like that? So here's some costume jewelry. None of the beads are missing. July 30th. Let's see. Mine is August 5th. My sister's is August the 15th. My uh, One of my bosses that I used to work with Hers is August 15th, which is my sister's birthday, and we are, like, really close. And then I started real estate, and I met another Leo, and her birthday is on the same day as my old boss and my sister, which is August the 15th. So anyone who has a birthday on August 15th is really special to me. Here's a gemstone neck uh, earring. Look, they have probably, like, onyx or something, some kind of black stone. Turquoise, you got your tiger's eye up here. These are real gemstones right here. So that's cool. Let's see, here's a junk jewelry earring. It's all coppered up. Pass it along. August 12th, Michelle. August 4th, Bobby. No wonder you're such a like awesome friend of mine. I really, I honestly think I forgot that or I don't know if we talked about it. Oh wow, this is, um, you know, jewelry is very cool you guys, especially when you don't know who the maker is. So check out this piece. It looks kind of old. It says Marley Moretti. Moretti. Is that Italian? Check it out. Look, it's copper. It's kind of cheap, but it's got this like gemstone again on here. And then you got your fool's gold over here. You know that fool's gold? I don't know if it's picking up. There's some fool's gold on there. Isn't that cool? It's on a copper bar. Interesting. Can't wait to look that up. Sagittarius. <clears throat> you know I love you, Bobby. Well, I love all you guys. Y'all are all awesome. Okay, so here's some, like, cool chandelier earrings. Luckily, they're matching right next to each other. I need to pick up some more Ziploc baggies. So this is really cool. I would actually wear these. I'm not into big earrings, but these are kind of simple. And they're like yarn. They're hand, they're threaded. Yeah. I hope the other one's in here. So here's the match to that junk jewelry earring. You can tell it's got the copper showing through. This is again something you get at Walmart or Target probably for five bucks or ten bucks, you know? They wore it and now it needs to be repainted. It's useless to me. Um, 
Okay, yeah, this is falling apart. I'm gonna pass this along, this bracelet. He's spunking positivity. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, this is cool. It's multicolor, like copper, gold, silver. Oh my gosh, bogey. The dog won't stop barking. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Yeah, those earrings were super cheap. So this is cool. Unfortunately, there's no maker's mark, but I like this. This has got some spunk right here, Bobby. Let's see if I don't break it. I can't slide it. Come on, Heather, don't break it. Okay, I got it. It's really pretty. I like it. I said I like it like that. Okay, Cardi B, stop it. All right, next piece. It's just a generic costume jewelry. Honestly, when I see pieces like this, there's two things that come to mind. And if you guys want to know what's on my mind, this is what I think about. One is prom jewelry, two, stripper jewelry. So it's just your cheap gemstones. But when you got those lights shining on you, they're absolutely gorgeous. So they never have any maker's mark. So I need to literally do some research on which of these are actually going to be valuable and how can you really tell if they're cubic zirconiums or whatever you call that word too. So yeah. I don't know what I'm... Okay, these are plastic. Um, cute little shamrock. I'm just going to chunk that because I don't need it. Honestly, I can make a, a killing off of all this jewelry in the summer when I have a garage sale. But since I can't have garage sales in the wintertime, at least I don't, um, I'm just going to lot them up into a junk jewelry. And no, I never did list any on eBay. I still need to list up my bags. So this bangle is rusted or like messed up really bad. So I'm going to chunk that one. <laughs> yeah, stripper. Look, here's another one. But this one's broke. So I will pass this one along. The end has got no hook. So yeah, this is like a cute little prom or, you know, pageant. I mean, how, how am I to ever know if one of these are actually real one day? They, they're all, like, cheap to me. You get this stuff at Walmart and the dollar store. It's so pretty. Excuse my washer, you guys, if you can hear my washering machine, washering machine going. Um, I don't know. This one seems like a cheaper gemstone earring. It may possibly be dyed. Almost looks like uh, rocks from a bridal. Yeah, bridal too. Um, except I wore pearls. Eh? <laughs> Most women wear pearls on their wedding, but not all of them. I know I'm joking. It was a joke. Um, I don't know. I'll wait to see if we can find the match to these. <clears throat> oh, wrong bag. Let's see. Oh, look, I've sold this paw before on eBay. What did I sell it? A necklace or an earring? You know, no, they were earrings. But they had the hook. These are studs. There's no maker's mark. But they are nice quality. I did sell a pair on eBay before. So if I find the match to these, maybe I'll list to those. So here's the costume uh, earrings for that matching necklace it's broke this one is the exact match <clears throat> see if we'll find the match to it <clears throat> um yeah these are sterling oh look it's don't ah oh, this says avery check it out it's an avery earring i never seen any like this if it's quality, you can feel it. Yeah, going on grumpy. This is a little earring and it's heavy and it's stamped. I have such good eyes. Like I'm going to totally brag on that because I do got good eyesight. Um, I can clearly see it says Avery on here. It's so awesome. 
those who watch my jewelry videos, y'all know that this is my score right here. One earring, this one earring alone will pay for the entire bag, if not two of them. So even if you have one James Avery earring, like list it for sale, it sells. It's stamped Avery and 925 on the bottom. Yeah, I hope I find the other earring, but even one. I'm so excited. Yeah, Tracy, one earring, girl. This is all I need. I don't even care if I find the other one. Okay, I'm going to put it on live chat now because I totally forget to put my chat on live chat. So here we go. Nothing changed, but whatever. Looks like the Penn State gear. What was that? I missed it. Yeah, I'm so excited, Gina. If y'all couldn't tell in my voice already, so exciting. Um, let's see, I actually have my expensive. Uh oh, I have my expensive jewelry box here. That this is all my jewelry that is marked that needs to be listed. Um, there is absolutely no James Avery pieces in here. Except I do have um, a charm bracelet that I need to list. Two charm bracelets that are Avery that I need to list. In there. Okay, so here's a junk chain. So I like fishing, so this is kind of fun. These are fishing, fishing connectors. What is this? I wonder if somebody, yeah, somebody like handmade. Oh, this is like a handmade necklace. Interesting. They got crafty and jiggy with that. So, country, five, two. Shoe horse for good luck. What are these? Some kind of plastic beads, shoestring necklace. And they connected it with fishing connectors. <laughs> oh, the Paul earrings. They look, what would you say? Um, Penn State gear? Hmm. I don't even know who that is. Interesting. Okay, so here's another inexpensive earring. It's plastic. I'm going to pass that along to somebody who will love it. Okay, this is cool right here. I love geometric stuff. Funky. I like it. It looks vintage, kind of. I hope we find a match to that. I went to Michael's, the craft store, and I bought like a black earring stand. And so my listings with earrings from now on will start hopefully having a black stand. Let me see if I can grab it. It's right here. Oh, see my butt flash? Sorry. I'm wearing my husband's pants. Pants that he doesn't never wear. Sweatpants. I got this thing. It was like... Less than five bucks, I think. It's nice and heavy. So I like the stuff that Michaels has compared to Hobby Lobby. <clears throat> okay, moving along here. So here's some bangles. I forget what that metal is. It's like brass or um, the other word. <laughs> One of these days I'm going to have them memorized, right? Joe. Paterno, what? You never heard of Penn State? Oh, well, like Penn State sounds like a college to me. <laughs> no, I don't know who Joe Paterno, Paterno. That's a good stand. Yeah, bronze. Thank you, Tracy. I think so. Except um, this one right here is rusted really bad. I'm going to take this one out. It's real nasty right there. Okay, so Peyton. Hmm. 
I don't need that. There's no maker's mark, so we'll pass it along. Hello, wooden bead. It's wood. Yeah, Gina, they actually have, I think I got the tall one, and I was going to get another one that's identical. Sorry for all the black. Um, I was going to get the small one, and I was like, oh, Heather, like, why do you need to? And I was totally being cheap, and I only got the tall one, because if you have, you know, big earrings, let's see how well this works. I haven't really practiced with big earrings yet. But yeah, like the big one would suffice for the big earrings or little. So why do you need two? Maybe if you list in like five different rooms like I do. <laughs> I've literally taken jewelry in my car to go pick up my son from school to try to list in my car and it never happened. Like, yeah, Heather, you totally need two. I could use one of these for Christmas in my stocking, Dad. I call my husband dad. Oh, this is cool. Ooh, this is really cool. Wow, this is like straight up like copper and, wow, you don't find these every day. I don't know, you guys. I like it a lot. It's really dirty though, I think. Maybe? <clears throat> it's got uh, literally etched, etched in there. You can feel it. <laughs> you can feel it. It's textured. Um, oh, I love finding these. I'm the mother of the groom. Unfortunately, the groom G is, or the R, it looks like it's scratched off a little. But this is a cute little pen. Pin? Pendant? No, it's a pin. So there's that. Oh, yay, look, here's that other earring. I like it. I'm going to keep these for a little while. I think I'm going to go through my entire jewelry box and get rid of, like, a lot of junk jewelry. After I go through all this jewelry, I'm like, wow, the jewelry you got in your jewelry box is, like, junk, Heather. <laughs> I'm not even playing, y'all. I have, like two or three pieces that are sterling and that's it my hubby got me a james avery bracelet that's got all the charms on them and i typically don't wear them because they make a lot of noise oh look peyton's got another bracelet it's missing some stones this one looks I saw an engraving or something let me look here nope we'll just pass it along This has a hair on it, gross. I see an engraving of just Pete patent. Oh, it's Monet, it's stamped Monet. Monet doesn't excite me. Maybe it will when I figure out what Monet pieces do sell because I hear people saying that Monet's, Monet, Monet, whatever, that it sells, some of their pieces can sell for good money Apparently, I need to do research because all the Monet that I've ever listed doesn't sell for a lot of money. So, we'll see. Clip on. I doubt that sells for as much. Um, here's just a really cheap quarter machine ring. Will you marry me? Older Monet. Hmm. I don't know how to tell if it's old or new. So here we have a set of rock earrings. Sales, sells. <laughs> she sells seashells by the seashore. Oh look, it's BB. But it's all tarnished and scratched up and scraped up and faded. It's so bad and missing gemstones that I'm gonna pass it along. It needs to be redipped. Hey, my camera flashed. Did y'all see that? Oh, look, here's that other earring. The gemstone earring. Ta-da! Yay! This makes me happy when I find a mate. 
I have a couple of these, so I feel like if I lot it up like three or four of these as a set, maybe replace the backings so they don't look so ugly. Um, because these look really old. But anyways, I feel like they could sell. Or maybe even for just one, if I knew what all the gemstones were. Okay, so here's some bangles. Let's get it out. <laughs> that reminds me of a song. Look, here's that matching earring. So there's matching earrings in my junk jewelry bags. I need to lot them all up, huh? So these are all bangles. They show a lot of copper through them. I never find any bangles with engravings. Like, n I I'm gonna like knock on wood, right? That I never do, but I have not, I have yet to find a bangle with either the maker's mark that was worth anything or sterling or gold. So. There's those. I have a million of these, by the way. <clears throat> That's junk jewelry. That's junk jewelry. It's a gold tone earring. Is it hammered? It is. Hammered. Um, there's no markings, though, so I'm going to pass it along. Whoa, what in the world? Best friend in your thread, where are you? She's not at work on Sunday, is she? Bam, look at that earring. That's, that's, that's popping right there. Woo! I gotta show that one. Oh yeah, buddy, right there. <laughs> Sorry, that's why I had a moment. <laughs> look at that earring, no maker's mark. That thing is like, I love your earrings. Really, Rowan? <laughs> okay. Oh, look, it has a tag here. Oh, gosh. I never can remember this silly maker's mark right here. I have seen it a dozen times. I need to get that memorized. Um. Well, Bobby... I have an M&M container full of backings from all the jewelry bags. So I don't actually need to buy any backs. But yeah, you got a point. They do sell earring backs at Walmart in bulk where you can get a whole bag of them. Or the craft store too. I even saw some 925 stamped ones in there too. So that's awesome. I save them for a rainy day. So I don't know who this is, but I'll lot it up with some other ones. Oh, look, is this a matching? No, that's not matching to those earrings that I like. Is it? Nope. Come on, Heather, you gotta hurry up because this takes way too long. Okay, so. I would like to mention that this piece seems very cheap. It's super thin, but it's actually really pretty. <laughs> and if you don't know anything about me, I'm also obsessed with flowers when you put magnets behind them that are like this. This would be a beautiful flower, magnet flower. All of them would. They're so cheap, you guys. Anywho, um, this is a really cute necklace. So if I lotted up a couple of these, again, I feel like you can make a little bit of money. A little bit. Not a lot. Don't get your hopes up. Little piece. Okay, what do we got going on over here, guys? This is really kind of cool. Um, so it's a charm long charm necklace. It doesn't have a maker's mark. This is kind of, kind of heavy. It's kind of pretty. It's got a key. Perfect for real estate. Love it. I like that. Premier design. <laughs> is that the engraving you're talking about? Look at all this nasty hair. 
I hope y'all can't see it because it's gross. <clears throat> I already feel like my fingers are dirty. So there's no maker's mark on this. Kind of looks a little vintage-y, but it's kind of boho. It's actually really cool. It'd be like a grandma necklace because if you were holding your baby, if you didn't let them break it, ooh, it's rusted. Um, it makes noises. Noises. Tinker. Tinker. Um, since it's rusted a little bit, like kind of all over in spots, I didn't really see it till up close. I'm going to chunk it. Plastic. The tag. Premier Design. Really? I, was, I don't know why I was thinking it was something else. Thank you. So here's an enamel um, earring. It's got a lot of copper shining through it. It's scraped up a lot, chunking it. Oh, Lordy, we have a cluster crash over here. I think we need to unhook it somewhere. Where is it? Oh, it's a trio. It's like a, a bunch of wrapping. I see a vintage piece in here. Oh, cool. I got it. Awesome. Okay. It looked vintage, but it was deceiving. Let's see here. This is kind of cool. Oh, cool. I like it. It's got too much going on, though. There's that. No maker's mark. Just a inexpensive little, probably like a $20 necklace, maybe more, but now it's used. So, I don't see any maker's mark on it or anything. So, there's that. The cool little bangle. It's like a leather rope or a suede or something. That's a nice one. Okay, so this one's really lightweight. I feel like I already have this one, if not one very similar. It's a long statement. Is that key again? Yeah, keys. Another statement. Necklace with a bunch of hair in it. Gross. DNA, is that what y'all said? Someone said. Oh, I'll lock that up in a bulk. So there's another goth looking thingy. Oh, you have thrifty? Awesome. You should do a video on what you make. Oh man, this is stuck in here. I bet it's stuck real good. Let's see. Oh, nope. I got it. Patience, Heather. Okay. So we have matching earrings to this. So we're going to fish them out. Yeah, baby. There and there. And we're not missing any stones. Free DNA. <laughs> we're not missing any stones. Um, so this is a cool piece, except it's inexpensive. But let's see who is it. <clears throat> I don't know what that says. It looks like it says design or something. I don't know who that maker is. <clears throat> oh, it's the measurement of the neck. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't know, Thrifty. Yeah, it's gaudy yet interesting. Uh, it brings off a big Western country vibe to me. Um, the beads are semi kind of heavy, so they're not like real, real plastic cheap. Yeah, totally. I would never wear this. Not unless you were taking me to a rodeo or something. And I honestly don't think I've ever been to a rodeo. Even though it would probably be fun. 
then I'm a huge animal lover, so I don't even know if it would be fun to me. Okay. So this is like an inexpensive necklace, but it is totally tangled, and I'm a little overwhelmed with jewelry. I'm going to pass this along to somebody else. Junk jewelry bag. Um, so I'm going to keep this Ziploc bag, and I'm going to chunk this costume really shiny earring here. Here's like an abalone shell. It's dyed. I think that's abalone shell. It's kind of pretty. Kind of pretty. Another black earring. Faceted. It's real shiny. Beep, beep. Cool. <clears throat> oh, what is up with the hair? Gross. This must have come from one lady, like a lot of it. Or something. Gross. This has got way too much hair in it. I'm going to pass this along to somebody else. I can't handle it. I'm not even going to do it. It's not worth it. So this has got a lot of copper showing through. It's a huge, massive necklace. Wow. Okay. Let's untangle this. Too heavy. <laughs> wow. This is a nice piece. It's just got so much copper showing through. It's heavy. I'm going to pass it. I don't really want it. All right. Here's a bangle with a lot of copper shining through. The entire center of it's copper, but so are these other ones. So I don't know. I'll look at them later. It's a charm necklace. It's tangled up. It's inexpensive. I'm going to pass this along in a junk jewelry bag. <clears throat> I can't breathe from this incense. It's crazy. All right, so we got some plastic beads. We have a tiny little ring here. Like, what is this? I don't know what this is, but it's not sterling, so I don't need it. And it's like, it won't even fit my pinky at all. Yeah, someone can remake it. I won't remake it, but you guys can. I don't got the patience to make jewelry. I like I got the patience to do these junk jewelry bags. So this is a vintage, maybe vintage. It's a plastic necklace. But I don't need it, and there's no ma maker's mark. So I'm going to pass it along to somebody else. No, it's not a toe ring. It won't open up. It's solid. <laughs> He's silly. Oh, look at that vintage earring. It's kind of ugly, ugly. Just a silver tone earring with red rhinestones. Y'all know the bottom of the bag is sometimes the best part. We will see. Oh, look, here's this other earring, costume, prom earring. I don't see any rhinestones missing. It's just an inexpensive piece. It doesn't have any maker's mark. Such a bum. Bummer. Little plastic ring. Oh, okay. Yay, look. Oh, is it broke? It is. Look, there's that matching earring. It just needs a new hook. wonder if the hook is in the bag. Live Life Green. Huh. 
Huh. It's just a worn out necklace. I'll pass that one along. All right, we got more bangles. Dangle them, dangle them. There's a pendant. It's pink, like a hot pink. I think y'all are picking up more of a red. It's more of like a pink. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Like a, hmm, I think it shows up more red on the camera. Well, these are cute. Look, they almost look like they're um, giraffe textured or something. I've never seen these before. But there's no maker's mark on the bangles. Oh, don't y'all use a magnet? See, I told you I forget about the magnet. But yeah, those are sticking. This one's not, but guess what? It's got copper all through it. So we know copper doesn't stick. Yeah, I don't have anything close to being real silver at all. This is stainless steel. Oh, look, it's a bottle opener. It's a ring. And it looks like they had to cut it off just to get it to fit. Look at that. Drink too much alcohol, you think? <whistles> yeah, it's a bottle opener. Could you imagine that's not even cut even? If this digs any kind of into your skin, it would cut your skin open right there. It's actually kind of dangerous. It needs to be fixed. It cut your finger right open. All right, so there's those bangles. <clears throat> I'm not seeing anything fun yet. Just a gold tone earring. It's got some kind of stone in the middle. Just looks fake. Let's make sure there's no engravings. Nope. Anywhere. Um, whatever this is, looks like it's pretty broke. Pass it along. All right, so we have a star necklace that is like the cheapest thing in the bag. <laughs> Not really, but it is so cheap. Can we get it out? How do you open it? Is it got an opener? No, of course, it's going to be double layered. Laundry finished. Yep. Boo laundry. Boo hoo. Oh my gosh. Okay, the only way that we're going to be able to get this off is like opening this wood necklace. So we have this wood necklace. I wonder if I have earrings that match this from my other jewelry bags. That's one of the benefits of waiting so long and having death piles of jewelry is when you find the matches to stuff. That's happened to me. Not often, but I actually did find, is it in here? Well, hell. They were, where are they? They must be on my listing table. That's why they're not in here. But one day I'd found like a heart dangle earring and it had like the arrow through it like um the valentine shooting thing um it's sterling silver and i found one and then i found the match recently so that was awesome all right this thing is like uber cheap it's like came out of the bubblegum machine almost <laughs> so that's going in the junk bag Let's see here. We got a plastic bracelet. I do have a bunch of bracelets, so I'm going to keep this aside. Some more of that abalone shell, maybe. And then it looks like sea beads. Let's see here. That might could sell, but it just reminds me of like a $20 necklace at JCPenney's or something. But... It does have, oh well, yeah, it's scratched. Because it's dyed. I don't know. 
if anyone would still buy that. But I'll do research. Need coffee. It's like three o'clock. We're and my hubby's drinking coffee too. I thought I had it beside me, but he came and jacked it for me because I jacked it from him. So he's just jacking it back from me. So here's a plastic earring. Ooh, this is real. I can tell. It's a real green gemstone bracelet. This is a rare stone. You can kind of see. I don't know. Maybe it is dyed. I don't know. Because the color is coming off on the string. But I don't know. I don't know much about gemstones. It looks like it's not dyed to me. I don't know. Anyways, there's that one interesting and I can see that we have some coral red coral this one seems a little cheaper it's mixed in with plastic beads you drink coffee all the time every day decaf or caffeinated coffee makes me irritable decaf or caffeine coffee does I think it does my husband too. We drink too much coffee. That's why we're irritable. Irritable. <laughs> At least it does us. But you don't have kids, Thrifty, so it's a little different for you. All right, so got that. Aw, it's a cute little glass beaded amethyst looking cute bracelet. I wish there were more of those. All right, there's the other purple clip-on. It's super plasticky, just like weighs nothing. No maker's mark, I'm gonna pass it along. We got some bangles here, they're cheap. So I can see this one through the bag, and this one looks kinda nice, but now getting it up close, I can tell it's just your average normal bracelet. You got some is it great value? Espresso at Walmart, and it's really good. Lando Lakes. Okay. Man, you make me want to go drive to Starbucks now or something for a caramel iced coffee. <laughs> Love it. Anyways, these are kind of unique. I don't know what to call this. Do y'all? I actually listed something on eBay recently. And it has these little bubbles. I bet that's called something. I wished I knew. Kind of gaudy. Almost looks like fish eggs. Really? All right. This reminds me of a mala, mala necklace, but it's actually not. It's like a three tier. It's made out of like cotton threading, which I love because it's more organic. You will send a pic of the package. All right. You had coffee with Bailey's in it today. We'll be having more tonight too. <laughs> you love the bracelets? Oh, the pebble looking bubble bracelet. Yeah, they're, they're unique. Um, definitely. So these are glass beads. These are nice. This would definitely make a good newer current style bracelet or necklace. Like even a Malo necklace. Like the meditation ones. Really nice. Alright, what do we got here? What do we got here? I don't know what the idea with this is. It's like a nipple. A weird oddly shaped nipple. Is that supposed to be a charm? I almost thought it was like inserts to like clip this closed or something, but I don't see a connector. This junk jewelry, plastic pearls. All right, let's get rid of this one here. Whoa, pearls. You don't do gold, but you still like them? Cool. Okay, so here's a little girl's necklace that she loves to shop with a purse. 
added some cocoa to it. Y'all stop it. I'm gonna got high cholesterol. <laughs> Trying not to eat sugar. Well, that's cute. Um, but I don't need this. Someone else can have it. So these are interesting. These are screw back. They almost look sterling. Where's my magnet? They're not sticking. The metal is really old. All right, we're gonna do a teeth test. You ready? I don't know. I think they're fake and then I can't tell. They're like glass pearls. And they're pretty smooth, but underneath they're like spotted. Like, I don't know if they painted them wrong or what. I don't think they're real, but I don't know. These are interesting. Look at those backs. Look like from the, I don't know what I was going to say, time age or something. Age of time or something. So, there's that. Um, plastic again. And what is this? It's a vintage necklace. It's just junk. It's plastic. It's an old school vintage necklace made out of plastic beads. We've got a wood bead there. Okay, what is this? I think they're broke. Yeah, it's broke. There's a maker's mark or something. What is that? Oh, it's a swan. I think that's a swan logo. It's a vintage clip-on. Let's see here. I think it's a swan. Looks like a swan. Anyways, it's this flower glass. Man, what do you call this? Like a bouquet? It's a cluster. That's the word. It's a cluster of glass, faceted, faceted, whatever you want to call it. It's not real gold. Meh. It's broken. But we definitely need to look up vintage swan. I don't know, does Gloria Vanderbilt have a swan? I have no idea. Is it, I don't know if I'm picking up that swan very good for y'all. I mean, it looks like a swan. Yeah, hold on, let me show y'all one more time. It's totally a swan. I'm not sure. Yeah, I can't really see the screen as good as you guys, but yeah, there's that. Hopefully you guys got to see it. And then this side has, oh, oh, the swan again. It's a good metal. It's like a gold dipped kind of really good. It's not tarnished or anything. And these beads, are they black or let's see. Yeah, I think they're black. They're really nice. They're heavy. Really heavy. So we'll check into those. We'll check it out. <laughs> Gina, throwing your cocoa in my chat. <laughs> Christy, Thrifty Christy started it though, huh? I don't know. Maybe you did with the Baileys. Y'all making me hungry. Um, a cheap bangle there. We got a musical note that's gold, uh, silver toned, and it just says Disney. I don't need it. There's a seed bead funky necklace. I guess I have a couple of these, so I'll lot it up. Seed bead, no maker's mark. A lot, lot this up with a couple other pieces.
Ew, gross. This thing is so dirty. It's plastic. I'm not even going to wash it. I'm going to pass it along to somebody else. All right, so here we have a copper showing probably a stainless steel necklace. It's got some cute little pearls. Um, since it's showing the copper through it, I'm not going to keep this one either. We got another av abalone, abalone shell, I think. It's probably hand painted. And I don't know, could that possibly be quartz? Like a pink quartz rock? I think it might be. Thanks, Casey. Yeah, they're probably Vanderbilt. I'll do some research. I wonder if she makes jewelry. Hey, Maddie. Hello. Um, it's really cute. Let's see. It doesn't have a maker's mark. The silver is showing through, like, stainless steel here. It's kind of rubbed off. But due to it being a shell and stuff, I'll do more research on this. We had a lot of shell pieces in here, didn't we? All right, this is it. We're almost done. Let's look at all these little beads. Um, I don't see anything promising at all in here. I'm not seeing any maker's mark. So this one is a dud bag. Except we did get, now that I remember, we did get awesome. Yay! We did get the one James Avery earring that I think will definitely recoup. Yeah, all this is junk beads. Okay, so we got the James Avery earring. And then I already have this starfish. And I think I was missing one. So... I couldn't tell... Okay. Yeah, these are not James Avery, though, I don't think. What's weird is I think they belong to the same girl. So, there's that. I'm glad I got this one. I don't think, yeah, the James Avery piece, we got that one. The one earring, but I didn't find the match, Bobby. But, look, I did find the green one. It's sad that it's not got a sterling back, though. So, we got the match to... This one, it looks like it's kind of broke right there. We'll have to remove that dangle. Let's see here. I love that these are glass. I mean, I don't think you can tell. Maybe. Maybe it's fixable. Really cute. Love these. So, yeah. There's that match earring there. Junk jewelry. I am dropping beads all over the floor. <laughs> Um, here's a watch backing that is not silver. I don't know. It kind of looks silver. Let's look. Nah, it's not. Looks silver. Let's see. We got an earring that I do not have a match to. A cat's eye. Cat's eye. I don't remember. I don't remember. Look, Hannah Montana, Disney. Oh, we must have had a Hannah Montana Disney charm bracelet or necklace to that other piece that was in here. Um, I did see this. It's a Disney. I thought it was an ice cream cone, but this is the microphone. And then a microphone. What the? Oh, look, here's an amethyst. Check that out. It's 925. It's probably like a Walmart pendant, but it's real. It's a real silver pendant. The green diamond earrings. Like these ones? Oh, you're back. Your browser cracked out. Somebody said the cat's eye. Yeah, I like these. And uh, which ones were you talking about, Bobby? I think those are the ones you're talking about. So there's more of these little tiny 
pieces here. We got a, a bean. Is that a red bean? A pinto bean? I don't know. Yeah, these are cute. I like them. It's just sad that they're not sterling at all. They're just like a stainless steel metal or something. They're totally the kind that like makes my ears itch. So that's it, folks. We got this pendant here, but it just looks kind of inexpensive. Um, just junk jewelry, some tarnished earrings. So happy we got to do this bag. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you see anything you like, let me know. It's all for sale. <laughs> if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the chat box below. The silver could be from like a mom necklace or something too. I don't know. All right, ladies and gents, we'll see you guys next time. I hope you have a relaxing Sunday. Again, thanks for hanging out with me. I really, really appreciate it. Have a wonderful weekend and enjoy your snow days.